We are finally in North Dakota again for another year. It feels good to be back, you know? This feels like home. Opener, baby. It's back. Oh, here we are. It is finally opening day here in North Dakota. Right here, Brad. Sure. I don't think I could have put that arrow any better. He's laying out here in the field. It's right here. What up, boys? First full velvet white tail. It feels good. As we go west, is this gonna lead me here? Labor Day today, um, just picked up Brennan on a pit stop at night off of 94. They were on opener for whitetails over on the east side of North Dakota here over the weekend. We're heading further west uh, to western North Dakota. Uh, we're gonna be hunting mule deer for the next about six, seven days. If all, all works out, we'd love to punch my tag in the first few days here and try and get back to the cabin to hunt whitetails the rest of the week but we'll uh we'll just take it one one step at a time here stocking sacks don't leave home without those bad boys <laughs> Do this. Shout out to about four. That's as far as I'm gonna go with this wind right now. It's pretty, at least where we are right now, it's pretty brutal. Got a big crosswind trying to shoot through. It's just damn near impossible. So we're all ready to go. We're gonna go a few miles down the road here and do a couple new spots and probably start glassing for the afternoon, but not expecting too much here to start off. We're just coming to a close here, our first afternoon uh, out here in North Dakota. Um, it wasn't too bad. We didn't see any, any shooters on this new piece of property, but we did cover a, a lot of ground. Seen a few does down here below us right before dark. They're actually right down here still. We got probably a good five mile plus bike ride out of here on the Rambos, so we gotta get moving before we lose light. Just glassed up two shooters. Um, they're a real long ways away right now, though, so we're just gonna pack up and try and cut the distance on them. These deer are still on their feet feeding, so we want to try and close in a little bit before they lay up. Yeah, he was big. There's another one. Brennan just spotted a buck here about 45 minutes ago on the north end of the public here. So we're actually, we walked back out to the vehicle just now, um, got on the Rambos, making a big loop around and coming back in on the north side. And we should have the wind in our favor then.
everything was working out perfect as much as we thought. But um, one of the smaller bucks was actually bedded. We knew he was bedded to the right, but unfortunately he was bedded where he was visible to us when we were trying to drop in on these other bucks and he ended up busting. And the other bucks got up out of their bed and they didn't spook too hard. It sucks, we had a pretty good opportunity here. Wind was in our favor, terrain was in our favor, and all we had to do was go another probably five, 10 yards and we would have had a pretty good shot on these bucks and it just didn't work out. on this tall knob. Your mic was 200 yards away from me, looking the other direction. And all I seen was a split. I didn't know if it was a buck sleeping or a shed. It was a shed. Coming to an end here. Day one in North Dakota. And uh, I can't complain. We had probably one of the best days I've had out here mule deer hunting. And we got one quality stock in, just didn't work out. Um, but we glassed up one really nice buck in here this afternoon, actually right where we were working this morning. It gives us an idea of kind of their schedule, I guess. And uh, we'll be back after it tomorrow. morning of day two here and uh, we're on the same glassing point we were on yesterday just glassed up our shooters again I see two of the big ones they look like they're in the same spot as they were yesterday and uh, then there's one one smaller one he's still pretty good <clears throat> but he's kind of in that ditch where we kicked a couple of them bucks up yesterday when we were trying to close in on the other ones so we're gonna do the same thing we did yesterday, just take a little different approach, come up on the top a little higher on them, and then work our way out on the west side of that hill. And we should be on the highest point over there, so we should be able to at least get a bead on where some of these deer are gonna be laying up. We've seen a few shooters so far this morning. Glassed up one, actually, probably a quarter mile from here. Next hillside over. Him and a smaller buck, they worked out here for probably a good half hour to an hour. We watched him, he actually shed his velvet on a shrub out there for a while. And then they just worked over behind this big hill. So we're gonna hook back around, kind of get the wind in our favor, get back on top of that next flat and poke over. We're seeing deer this morning. It's Definitely good start, but we have no wind to work with, so it's gonna make stalking pretty tough today.
we just got on this flat here a little bit ago and uh, right as we hit the crest we actually seen a really nice buck directly from where directly below where, where we were at glassing yesterday and he headed off to the west kind of lost sight of him so we creeped over here further west so we could see back down in this draw where, where we last seen those bucks go and they were literally come over top and they're right below us and the one shooter did a horseshoe and actually was going to lay right right in front of us here but he he hooked around got the wind in his favor we had him probably at 40 45 at one point and he caught our wind went down further the hill um took a guess that he was at about 80 and i just didn't raise my uh, pin high enough it was fun at least we got a good stock in this morning um close call it's just tough with no wind out here today but we're seeing deer again today gonna go down oh my god oh my god dude we just killed a freaking dandy muley a freaking dandy yes. I cannot believe that we came here just to glass this draw just because it's hot out. I mean, we haven't been having much luck today. It got up to 96 here. And we were like, let's just go check this spot. We've seen a good buck this morning head this direction. I literally sat down and I started glassing. I'm looking at these hillsides. Brennan comes behind me and he says, there's a buck right over here. Buck was 100, I think when I first ranged him, 130 yards on our hillside, never even seen him. I can't believe it worked out, but he was just sitting here feeding. I ranged him and he, it said 20 yards, but I put it for 25 because it looked a little bit further and it must have been dead on because he's down, dead, in the bottom of the valley. Day two, unfricking believable We've been just kind of down in the dumps all afternoon. It got hot out. We had a blown opportunity earlier in the day on a, on a nice buck. We came here just kind of on a whim to check out some new area and park the vehicle, I don't know, a few hundred yards up the hill here. Like down here, first spot we were gonna glass, we would go over the hill and he's feeding right in front of us. Brennan said, 
on the on the ride out here that he wanted to get to the cabin to hunt whitetails at the end of the week. We got a big cold front coming here in a couple days. We're gonna get him cleaned up and tagged and out of here, and we'll probably be heading heading back east either tonight or tomorrow morning. Breaker down. Got camp torn down. We're gonna drive through the night and uh, get back to Dinkota. We got a big cold front coming through uh, Friday into Saturday. Huge drop in temperature. We don't wanna miss it. So we're gonna hit the road. Feels good to be back. <laughs> 